Hi there, today we're going to be talking about lesson 11.6, the perimeters and areas of similar figures, and just to see their relationship. Today you're going to be looking at 10 things to write in your notes, so let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to be looking at today is how does the ratio of corresponding sides relate to the ra ratio of perimeters and areas of similar figures. We're going to start with perimeter first. When two figures are similar, the ratio of their perimeters is equal to the ratio of corresponding side lengths. So let's go ahead and copy this pink box down in our notes real quick. I'm going to go ahead and ask you to pause the video so you have some time to jot that down. And once you're done, click play so you can see how it's done. So the next thing you're going to try is to write the ratio of corresponding sides from red to blue and then also write the ratio of their perimeters. So go ahead and take the time now to pause the video and try 2A and 2B and once you're done click play. Okay so one way you can write the ratio of corresponding sides is you can say either 4 to 6 or 8 to 12. I'm going to stick with 4 to 6 because it's a smaller number. Either way you're going to get the same answer. I'm going to simplify that. I'm going to divide both of these by 2. So my answer of corresponding side lengths ratio will be 2 thirds. Over here when I find the ratio of perimeters, remember to perimeter you just add up all these sides. So for the red, I'm going to be doing 4 plus 4 plus 8 plus 8. That'll be 8 plus 16 or 24. And then for blue, I'm going to be doing 6 plus 6 plus 12 plus 12 or 12 plus 24 and that gives me 36. Okay, so my ratio of the perimeter is 24 to 36, and when I simplify it, I maybe can start with the number 4. I'm going to get 6 ninths, and then I can simplify that one more time by 3, and I get 2 thirds. So notice what happens, like you wrote down for number 1 in your notes, the ratio of corresponding sides is equal to the ratio of the perimeters for similar figures. This one you're going to go ahead and try on your own as well. The height of figure A is 9 feet. The height of figure B is 15 feet. What is the ratio of the perimeter of A to the perimeter of B? Remember the ratio of corresponding sides is equal to the ratio of perimeters for similar figures. Let's go ahead and pause the video now so you can give me your answer. What's the ratio of perimeter A to perimeter B, and once you're done, click play to check your work. Okay, so remember to find the ratio of perimeter, all you have to do is find the ratio of the corresponding sides. I know corresponding side A is 9, and the other corresponding side is for B is 15, so I'm going to first write 9 to 15, and then I'm going to simply simplify. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 15 divided by 3 is 5, so my answer for number 3 is 3 over 5. Sometimes you're going to be asked to find the value of x, so if you know the ratio of your perimeters is 3 to 6, what is, the, what is going to be this corresponding side length to angle or to side length 12? Let's go ahead and pause the video now. It might help if you write a proportion to solve this one for number 4, and once you're done, click play to check your work. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take 3 to 6 and just make it a fraction, and then also set it equivalent of x to 12. I don't know what x is, but I do know that x is a smaller figure, so I know that x should go on top because 3 was a smaller number that went on top. To solve this, I'm going to cross multiply. 3 times 12 is 36, and 6 times x is 6x, and then when I divide both sides by 6, I get x is equal to 6. That's all. The next part of our notes, we're going to talk about areas of similar figures. So when two figures are similar, the ratio of their areas is square, to the ratio of corresponding side lengths. So that means if your corresponding side lengths are 3 fourths, your, cor your ratio for area is going to be 9 sixteenths because what you essentially do is multiply the top number and the bottom number by itself to get their square. That's called squaring a number. Okay, let's go ahead and pause the video now so you can try so you can write this down and then once you're done click play so we can try a question. So here's one that you're going to try. What you're going to do is find the ratio of corresponding sides first and then you're going to find the ratio of their areas from red to blue for each one and then you're going to answer this question. What do you notice about the first ratio and the ratio you just got for 6b? Let's go ahead and pause the video now so you can try it and once you're done click play. 
All right, so what I did first for six days, I just picked two smaller numbers to write the ratio of. I did ratio of six to 10. So six to 10 is just gonna reduce to three over five. So there's my six A. For six B, it says write the ratio of area. So I first have to find the area. Remember how I find the area for my red? I would do base times height divided by two. So 12 times six divided by two is gonna give me 36. And for blue, I'm gonna do 20 times 10 divided by two, and that gives me 100, okay? So my ratio of areas is 36 red to 100 blue. I'm gonna go ahead and simplify this. Maybe I'll divide by four to see where it gets me. 36 divided by four is nine, and 100 divided by four is 25. So that's my simplest form, so I'm gonna keep it there, okay? Then this question says, what do you notice about the first ratio and the ratio you just got. Well, as we wrote in our notes before on number five, notice that three-fifths, which was corresponding sides, CS, changes to nine twenty-fifths, and this is your area. How did three change to nine? Well, three was multiplied by three to change to nine, and five changed to 25, multiplying by five. So that means the ratio for corresponding sides is squared to get the ratio for area. Okay, so perimeter is the same as corresponding sides, but area's ratio is, is squared to get that from the corresponding sides. Let's go ahead and keep trying number seven. The base of triangle P is eight meters. The base of, of similar triangle Q is seven meters. What's the ratio of the area for P to Q? Remember, the corresponding sides is going to be squared to get the ratio of your area. Go ahead and pause the video so you can try it, and once you're done, click play. Okay, so it does say to um, compare P to Q. So P was eight, and we're gonna list that number first, and Q was second, so we're gonna list that number second on the bottom. What we're gonna do, this is the corresponding sides ratio. What we're gonna do is square it meaning multiplying both numbers by itself. And we'll get 64 on the top and 49 on the bottom. So this is my ratio of areas for these two similar triangles. Remember, all you have to do is square. These two are um, going to be your next ones. You're going to be writing the ratio of the perimeters and the areas, and both of them will be red to blue, so make sure you list your red number first and your blue number second. Again, you need to provide the ratio of perimeter and the ratio for area. Okay, let's go ahead and take time now to pause the video, try your two questions, and once you're done, click play to check your work. Okay, so ratios for perimeter is going to be 12 to 8, but you do need to simplify that. I'm going to simplify that by 4, and I'm going to get 3 over 2. To find your ratio of your areas, I understand you don't have enough information looking at the figures, but what you do know is you're supposed to square your perimeter to get your area. So 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 oops, is going to give me 9 over 4, so your area's ratio should be 9 fourths. All you have to do is multiply 3 by 3 and 2 by 2. The next one, your ratio for perimeter and number 9 will be 5 to 8. Your ratio for area will be 25 to 64. We know that because if we take the ratio for perimeter and square it, meaning multiplying it by itself, 5 times 5 is 25 and 8 times 8 is 64. That is how we get 25 over 64 for my answer. Last one, final review, the ratio of two similar figures corresponding sides is 4 to 5. Go ahead and tell me the ratio of perimeters and ratio of areas. This is just kind of to seal the deal. Let's go ahead and pause it, try number 10 real quick, and then once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, so the ratio of perimeters for number 10 is still going to be 4 to 5, but the ratio of the areas will be 16 to 25. Again, how we find the ratio of the areas is we take the ratio of the perimeter or the corresponding sides and square it, meaning multiplying by itself to get 16 25ths. Okay? That's all going to be for our notes today, so just make sure you have those 10 things in your, in your notes written, and we'll catch you next time.